Hi guys, this is Chris from Stock Money Lizards. Welcome to our first trading education video. And today I'm going to answer the question, how do we approach a chart when we want to enter a short term trade for futures trading? So before we start, we need to look at the bigger picture. And I do that by clicking on the altcoin total market cap chart. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with this chart. So we need to know where are we headed in general. So you see here we had a steep uptrend and since February we're in a correction mode found support in this area here at 85 billion and now we have seen this uptrend so potentially we are moving up again. So this is the daily chart and next we can also move to shorter time frames for example the four hour chart and you also see here we see this wick down and since then there's an uptrend and the overall direction is now up after this correction mode however you have to be aware that for short term trades you also need to consider these areas here you know when we see these steep increases of, of the price and then afterwards we see a little correction again here again here so we could imagine something here so at the moment we are in a resistance zone or resistance line but the overall trend is up so this is really important for the type of trade you want to do if you want to do a longer term trade with lower leverage you need to consider this as an uptrend if you want to trade really short term on the 15 minute chart for example be aware that this is a zone of resistance so let's jump into one of the coins let's say we want to trade the ethereum chart and what i'm always doing is i add some indicators the most important one in my opinion is the relative strength index because it's showing us whether we are overbought or oversold and you can see here this green area indicates we are already overbought on the four hour chart and if we zoom out you can also see the green area here resistance here at resistance also here and here and always after these periods we saw a little correction in the short term so we need to take that into account and now we also uh, take a step back also need to see where we are in terms of the daily chart so you see we had this bullish signal line crossing of the rsi three days ago and now the rsi is trending up and there's still some some space so this means i think the four hour chart and the in the one day chart they're really important because what I think is going to happen is something like this. We could see a little correction down because the four hour chart is overbought and then we see another trend up. So next we need to zoom in further. So for, for leverage trading, for example, if you do 20x or 30x leverage trading, trading based on the four hour chart or the one day chart is not recommended because you know you have these swings and the swings can always lead to liquidation so it's really important to see what's happening on the short term chart and one of my favorite time frames is the one hour time frame and let's see what we can see here so we also see the overbought rsi in this area we see a bearish signal line crossing that happened a couple of hours ago and since then it's going down a little bit but you see here rsi is trending up again but if you look closely this doesn't really mean anything because you could still have like a double peak here or triple peak and the one hour chart can be overbought for quite some time and uh, it can also lead to a, to a divergence. So RSI declining while price is going up. So this is really important to keep in mind. Next, we are going to the 30 minute chart. So on the 30 minute chart, you also see something similar. 
the RSI popped down from the overbought zone to approximately 60 and is now trending up again. Also, we have a signal line crossing ahead. So this is an area where I think we could reapproach these highs here. And um, yeah, so in general, if, if I had to choose a direction here on this chart, I think it's very hard because overall it's overbought, but it's not in a clear downtrend. So um, I wouldn't trade this chart right now because you could still have like a little space to the upside before we really correct um, because it's really dangerous shorting these these pumps because there can be stop loss hunt and can be um, shorts covering so this can easily go higher again. So right now I wouldn't enter trade. And if you really want to enter trade, I sometimes also switch to the Heiken Ashi candle charts, which is a bit dangerous, I think, because they, especially if you test your strategies, because they can lead to false results. For example, if you have an algorithm, you do the back testing because it's calculated differently, but it's really good to show you a trend. And you see, if you bought here, when the first green candle appeared, you would have made 5% or 6% plus. So this is actually a very good way. And you see here we had this correction mode. Then we have this doji. So dojis are usually reversal candles. And now it looks like we could see another uptrend. But still, as I said, I wouldn't enter the chart here uh, or the trade here because we're still very overbought and a correction could happen. And, but we can uh, switch back here to another time frame or time point and you see the hike and ashy candles they are really helpful so you have the the downtrend here you have the doji you have another red candle here and then you have the trend up and that's really easy to to detect and i think the 30 minute chart is really good for it and what we are looking for is something like this so you have a sideways going chart let's let's imagine we are here and you have a sideways going chart and then you have an, an rsi that's swinging here be between these extremes so between uh, 70 and 30 and then you can enter when you see the first red candle you see the overbought rsi you see the first red candle you can enter the short trade and then you have rsi dipping to the to the oversold zone and then we have the first green candle here and that you can easily enter a long trade and i think that's very helpful um, for the leverage trades i think it's it's really advisable to um, to enter the trades in these more calm areas because as i said if you if you trade here and if you go short, we could still, because there's a lot of pressure in the markets right now, so we could easily go up again and uh, the, the real short move or the real down move or correction move can occur later. So I wouldn't trade this here right now. Um, it's more something, something like this. When the RSI has dropped to the oversold zone, really heavily oversold, and then is consolidating, and then after that, it's really easy to trade because then you can just use RSI, you can use the Heike and Ashi candles. And of course there are other ways to trade. Um, but yeah, I think that's a very simple way to approach it. And next time I'm also going to talk about uh, the more short term trades. So the scalping trades and there we can use other indicators as well, such as um, the exponential moving averages. But um, for now, I think that's, all so so i hope you enjoyed this video and as i said we are going to produce a series of videos uh, for educational purposes that's mainly for the premium section but we will once and then we will drop a video in the free section and you can check it out and of course if, if you want the full package you can still find the information in the announcement section for how to become a premium member thanks for watching and see you soon